Lesson Plan 7 is charting on medical records. You won't have a lot of detailed charting to do. Typically what you are, are responsible for are what we call flow sheets. So you'll learn what those look like, what your responsibilities are, how you do write on those flow sheets so that it is legal and that it is legible, and what things you need to put into play to make that happen. Um, we'll look at the reasons for accurate charting. It's our communication board. Um, we'll look at proper documentation and key points. We'll talk about the purpose of charting. I'll give you some basic guidelines to help you along the way. And throughout these lesson plans from here on out, I'll have you writing entries, uh, practice entries from what you're observing so that you continue to build on this skill. The big thing in this chapter is all the abbreviations and the symbols. And you've got some chapter exercises and I'm going to give you some more in the uh, applied knowledge exercises to start using those abbreviations. Um, one of the things I'll have you do is to look through a chart, read the nurse's entries, and then look at your abbreviation list and uh, transcribe what those abbreviations mean in that note so that you can begin to understand how it fits together. And uh, another large part of this chapter is the MDS. MDS was modified just last year, 2011. It's now MDS 3.0. What all that means is it is a full body com comprehensive assessment of every imaginable need that the resident has. And you are not responsible for completing the MDS, but you may be responsible for completing some of the interviews or doing some of the assessment that will answer some of the questions on the MDS. So you do need to have a basic understanding of what it is and how it works and how it can help you in your job. You know, for instance, you're not sure whether a resident has behaviors or not. There'll be a section that you can look to to say, yes, there's behaviors. It may not tell you what to do about them, but it'll tell you that the resident has that issue. What happens with the MDS then, that comprehensive assessment, becomes the driving force between the document that you will have to know very well, and that's the care plan. And we'll get into more detail as to finding what those things are. So having said that, let's get started.